Hi, my loves. I'm Cara here. So, um, this video might be a little lengthy, but I'm not I'm like super long. This is all about the hierarchy of the Kingdom of Darkness. And with the re-release of The Little Mermaid, it is um, basically a stamp in time, a symbol to show that we're working with the full family now, I guess you could say. So, um, marine spirits are very powerful and that's where you get sirens or mermaids from and then the octopus and then king triton who is the ruler of the ocean and so on and so forth um each character in this movie it symbolizes another um member of the kingdom of darkness so ariel represents jezebel a lot of people think Jezebel is the worst. She is actually basically the granddaughter of the Kingdom of Darkness. And then we have King Triton, which represents Nimrod. Nimrod is Jezebel's father. Now, Jezebel's mother is Astaroth, which is actually also her grandmother. Because Astaroth and Nimrod did um, have an ancestral relationship and had a child just further along that demonic tie right so with this movie being re-released it's it's showing you that the beast from the sea that is spoken about in revelations 13 has already been released the you have to understand that the events chronicalized in the bible are not in chrono chronological order they are they have either already taken place and you're just seeing it played out, play out on the physical realm or they have not taken place yet. Please don't think because they're in the order of whatever the Bible is, that that's the order that is going to happen. Okay. So um, the sign that the beast will be released is that the Euphrates River will dry up. That's already happened. The beast from the sea has already been released. Um, so we have the dragon, which is Astaroth, which is also referred to as the Whore of Babylon or the Queen of Heaven. Um, I call uh, her the Anti-Father, right? Um, and then we have the Beast from the Sea, which would be Nimrod, which would be the Antichrist or, um, you know, like the opposite of Christ, right? And then you have Jezebel, which is like the unholy spirit, which is the opposite of the Holy Spirit. Um, when I was a little girl, I was obsessed with the movie The Little Mermaid. And I literally watched it every single day, not knowing that I was programming myself with these marine spirits. Now, marine spirits are also uh, succubi and incubi. That is who governs these people who use sex to siphon people's energy and to prey on them with spiritual warfare um when the dragon or ball was first ca cast out of heaven um not ball sorry satan whatever ball whatever same thing was first cast out of heaven the first place it went was the bottom of the ocean and that's where we get the marine spirits from and then it went to the earth and so on and so forth this is also in revelations okay Revelations 12. And so we have basically, this is when the Antichrist will start to rule. Already in leadership, but like really take on the full role of why the Antichrist is here. Now, if you haven't figured it out, Beyonce is the Antichrist. And you can, you can take that to the bank. You'll figure it out for yourself soon. You can say I'm crazy. You can say I'm wrong. You can debate with me. I know what I'm talking about. Like I said, Beyonce is the Antichrist. She summons Oshun, aka the Antichrist, or the or Nimrod, or the opposite of the sun energy, the opposite of the Christ energy. But that's not even the height. The Queen of Heaven, Astaroth, that is who her mother 
summons, right? So Beyonce isn't even the most powerful witch. She's just the mouthpiece, the same as Christ. The actual person that Christ is, is the mouthpiece for God, right? So this movie being released, um, of course, you're going to prey on children because it's easier to catch them while they're children before they understand what's going on, before they get to adults to realize the role that they're meant to play, the power that they actually have. So, of course, we're going to target people in the African-American people of color community because a lot of the Israelites, the 144,000, are people of color. Now, it's not only people of color because our souls don't have color, but a lot of us have our have incarnated into people of color, African people, indigenous people, Latino people. Or Asian people, right? So, you taking your daughters to go see this movie, you're literally inviting demons and succubi into your daughter, and then you will notice that your children will be acting out sexually. It's all connected. So, do with that what you will. But understanding what's happening now is, now you will really get to see how hard the enemy is about to go because we know it's at the end now. Um, so just pay attention to the narrative that um, different groups of people are are setting for themselves. I made a video about that earlier, about the narrative people are setting for themselves. They will tell on themselves, okay? It's full disclosure, universal losses they have to disclose. Now, whether or not you choose to believe it, that's on you. But, for instance, um, the sister of the actress who plays Ariel, her first single, she plays a siren. She plays Medusa in the music video. And who was in her music video? Tina Knowles. I'm just saying, do the math, okay? Okay? It's not that hard to figure out if you pay attention. So just be educated. If you want more information about this, read Revelations 12 and 13, and you can get your own understanding of it. Um, anything else? That's everything. That's everything. So if you have any questions, hit your girl up. Otherwise, love you.